What's up guys? So today I had to squat on a Sunday. Saturday I had to go down south to Miami for a strongman competition. One of my athletes were competing. But uh, not feeling great today. I think I have a little bit of a head cold. You can hear it in my voice. But this is the first warm up set. I'm using the hip circle here, making sure I'm externally rotating, just trying to get a good feel on my hips, warming up my hips and my glutes, and uh, getting a good bounce off that bottom, finishing strong. This is the last warm up set before I go into my working sets. I don't do a lot of warm up sets. I don't, I mean, depending on the weight that I'm lifting, I just really go for feel and I don't really do too many reps. I go as many as maybe three to five at the most when I'm bringing on my warm up sets. I like using the hip circle just to make sure that I'm, I'm excellently rotating and using my, my hips and my glutes as much as possible. Here's the first working set here. We're on that volume phase, so this is 400 for eight. Felt good, just felt a little bit heavy just due to the fact that I'm not, you know, 100%. It looked fast enough, but, um, but yeah, definitely felt a little heavy. As far as the uh, mechanics go, like I said, you want to actually rotate, push out, or spread the floor apart when you're going to squat, making sure that you're trying to, like, basically break your IT bands as you try to uh, push the weight up. And this is the last set of 400. The volume here is is more than more than enough. I think that um you know I get more butterflies doing volume than I do with max effort lifts, just because uh, it does take a lot out of you, especially if you're going higher than five to six reps with uh, sub maximal weight. Same thing here. You want to make sure you're bracing properly, 360 through the spine all the way through the lumbar. I'm spreading the floor apart, pushing away, just acting like I'm uh, trying to rip those IT bands apart. And it's the last set, we get 425 here for six. I'm basically trying to bend the bar over my back, making sure that my wrists aren't cocked up. I'm actually having my knuckles face the ceiling. This will help me really bend the bar and get tight in my upper back and making sure that my lumbar is nice and stable with the breathing pattern. Again, spreading the floor apart, locking it out. Onto my supplemental lift. We did deficit pulls here with uh, 360 for six. This is basically just trying to work the quads and, and get a good push off the floor, making sure I'm, I'm explosive, keeping my lats tight, or you know, basically, I like to say that um, I'm trying to crush my armpits as I go up and just trying to finish that lockout nice and strong. Here's the last set. The last set actually felt like the best set, um, just from a speed, you know, for speed perspective, um, but definitely uh, felt good at the end considering how i'm feeling you know all right so if you like this video please hit that thumbs up if you want any more content hit the subscribe button also if you have any questions hit the comment box i'll be sure to answer any of your questions all right guys till next time peace